Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is how to get Final Fantasy 7 on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for All, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler. And to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to get Final Fantasy 7, we're going to have to go into Safari. So go into Safari, the iDevices native browser, and what we're going to do from here is click on the URL and type in coolrom.com. So go C-O-O-L-R-O-M.com and go ahead and click go and this will automatically direct us to their mobile website which is completely fine because I find their mobile website easy to use and it's made specifically for mobile devices anyways from here we're gonna scroll down to ROM files and we're gonna click on that and then it's gonna bring down a list of all the systems that they have ROMs under as you can see here and we're gonna be looking for Sony PlayStation because that's the system that we want to get a game for so when you find Sony PlayStation go ahead and click on that and then it will direct us to cool ROMs massive directory for all their Sony PlayStation ROMs aka games and they have them very well organized under top 25 downloaded top 25 rated and browsed by letter and in this episode we're gonna be going through top 25 downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you'll see that Final Fantasy 7 is the fifth most downloaded game on this website so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it will take us to the Final Fantasy 7 disc 1 ROM page which is very nice as well with two screenshots the file name the file size as well as where it's located in the core cool ROM website it downloads its ratings and when we scroll down this little download now button here is actually the download link so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you'll know that your download has begun because when you scroll back to the top you'll see that now in the URL has converted to a download manager and it'll show you the amount of megabytes being downloaded to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded anyways this should not take too long and I'll be back when it is done Okay, so when the download is done, you should have a screen like this. And now the download times do vary depending on your internet connection. So I do recommend doing this on a strong Wi-Fi connection so that the download will be quick and easy. Anyways, from this screen, what we're going to do is click on Open In. And from here, we're going to click on the Finder option. But you only have this if you got Safari Download Enabler. From here we should be at VAR Mobile, but if not, just go back as far as you can until you can't go back anymore and it says VAR Mobile. That's how you know you're there. From here we're going to click on the media folder, scroll down, ROMs, and then PSX. Now at the top right we're going to click save, and now we can go home and into iFile, so make sure that you did get iFile. Now when you open iFile you should be in VAR mobile but if you're not then click on the house at the bottom right just to make sure from here we're gonna click on the media folder scroll down ROMs folder PSX folder and then we're gonna look for a Final Fantasy 7 disk 1.7z file and as you can see it's right here so what we're going to do is click on the file 
and then click on archiver and now what this will do it's going to take out three files inside the .7z file and put them in the PSX directory so essentially we just want to get the three files out of this one alright so this should take two to five minutes and I'll be back when it is done alright so when the unextracting is done you should have a screen like this and you'll know that everything is okay well because on the screen it says everything is okay as well as on the bottom finish with result code zero and now we can click done at the top right so let's go ahead and do that now we will be back at the PSX directory and let's just take a quick look to see if our Final Fantasy disk one .bin file is there and as we can see it is there as well as a new .q file which is completely fine so now let's go home and look for our PSX for our application but before we open it make sure that it is not open in the multitasking bar by double tapping home holding down PSX for all and then clicking on the red minus if it is there if it's not there then just go ahead and open PSX for all and when PSX for all opens you will see that you have Final Fantasy 7 disk 1 dot bin in your PSX for all so as you can see it is right here I'm gonna go ahead and click on it so that we can play it and I'm gonna be playing in portrait and no sound you guys can play in any orientation that you like though I do recommend playing without sound and in PSX for all 3.0.0 because that is the best way to play any game on the PSX for all application just because it runs smoother with those two settings Anyways, when you first run a game, you'll see that the Sony boot logo came up and then the PlayStation boot logo. And now here we can see that the Sony Computer Entertainment America Presents logo has now come out, so Final Fantasy VII has begun to run. So now from here, I'll let you guys enjoy the game and stick around for the outro. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I have a couple of videos here that you might want to see. Just click on the one that you would like to see. Anyways, to see more PSX requests videos and other cool videos like the ones on the screen, click on that green subscribe button.